Hey train fans, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day today. I have a box behind me here, new item for the collection. Very eager to open it up. Uh, so let's check it out. Before we do, if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to do so. And if you are able to, go ahead and support us on Patreon. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's get this open here. Looks like it's in its uh, original MTH packing box for shipping. Wasn't sure if uh, I would find this item anytime soon, but uh, one popped up. And uh, on eBay, and was able to make a bid on it, and was victorious. Real King box, but what's in it? Yes, 44 AC Imperial diesel engine. The 2020 Donald J. Trump engine, nonetheless. Which way that's going to be least likely to destroy the box? Our manuals. Last thing I want to do is drop it on the floor. <laughs> they are not making any more of these. And certainly in good condition. Alright, and this comes with the caboose as well, so let's give that a look. Nice. 
This flag here, presidential shield, safety chain, ladder's in good shape, walking board, check out the bottom here, it's pretty good. Brand new condition. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. Oh, so one more comment on the box here. In this compartment, we have here a baggie with some uh, MTH Proto Smoke. We got some additional traction tires, and we have a uh, it's like a extra little front uh, grill here for the train if you want to remove the uh, front coupling. So that's a uh, nifty little add-ons. All right, we went ahead, got rid of those boxes. And uh, during our little break here, I did uh, lubricate both the bay window caboose and the engine uh, with our LaBelle uh, 102 for gears and 107 for uh, the running wheels, uh, just to make sure we have happy trains and nothing squeaking or uh, give a lot of wear to the motor. It's only a couple years old, but uh, best make sure everything's fresh and lubricated and running at 100%. Uh, this engine is factory new, it's never been run before, pristine condition, and so we want to keep it that way and uh, have many years of uh, fun out of it. So let's go ahead and get some of the rest of this uh, packing out of here, protecting the handrails. Very similar to our Trump 2024 engine, our SD70 ACE, which we have uh, right next door here for comparison. Careful. Now we have moved our other Trump train to my uh, 027 siding track, but uh, <laughs> no way I'm actually going to run that big engine on our tiny little 027 track. Just out of the way so we can. Uh, ooh, let me uh, make sure I don't damage any of these rails. Out of the way so we can uh, test out this. Trump 2020 engine. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, down here. Hope I'm not in your way too much. So. Okay, the front here. Go safety chain. Very delicate handrails and very really tightly packed in there with the packaging. Wow. Well, let's get this out first. That's easy. I spoke too soon. Well, I guess it's like a jigsaw puzzle with the handrails. So I'm going to turn this camera off, get it out of the way so I can. Uh, Get all this stuff off delicately and not break any handrails. So I'll be right back. All right, all the styrofoam off of the train. Uh, in the front and the back, some of the handrails had popped out uh, before I'd even taken out of the box. So I got those clipped back on very delicately. They're so thin and fragile. And then, of course, our bay window caboose here. Oops. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. Definitely has some good weight to it. Now the only thing I don't like is that they have to put the vice president's name on there. It should have just been Trump, but they got it right with the 2024 engine. Top here, we got the little horn add on here. We'll add our smoke fluid. Everything uh, lubricated up underneath here. And then let's see here. Huh. Here we got the back that pops off. 
controls for smoke and engine volume. You can see one of the motors there too. This is uh, magnetically held, interestingly. This is a little bit different than the Trump 2024 engine. Uh, the other one's just kind of wedged in there real tight. And, you know, if you uh, pop it open now and then, uh, over time, uh, the paint scrapes off. This is just magnets. So, no scraping, no fuss, and it seems to have a pretty good uh, hold on it with those four little magnets. So, I like that feature. All right, let's compare them uh, side by side. Starting with the bay window cabooses, you can see that the molds are the same, but uh, we have a little bit of different uh, color patterns here. Uh, the 2020 bay caboose on the left has a white roof, whereas the 2024 caboose on the right has more of a metallic color. And of course, uh, ladders, blue versus white, and then uh, our little uh, handrails, walkways, ladders here, yeah, all different colors. Come around to the side. We have a different photo of President Trump. As compared to 2024. Oops. A little bit different graphics and logos. Still very sharp looking. Underside, yeah, underside's the same too. All right, now for the engines. All right, at last our side-by-side -side comparison of the engines. You can see here the detailing is a little bit different, uh, separate of course just from the, the colors and graphics. Um, with the 2024 engine in the back here, we see uh, the grills here, the ventilation grills for the engines are quite different than what we have here on the 2020 engine. Handrails are similar, but uh, a little different here. And of course, uh, the uh, exhaust area is totally different. And of course, we looked at how this one with the 2020 engine connects magnetically. 2024, you just got to squeeze it off. And uh, there are two magnets on it, but it's it's a really tight fit. So it, it definitely rubs pulling it off and uh, getting it back in there. Do have this uh, nice little vent hood here, whereas this one's kind of open. In the front profile here, you see they both have uh, safety chains, just a little bit different uh, color schemes, uh, lighting here. Uh, 2020 engine, there's just one figure inside, whereas 2024, there are two figures in the cab of the train. Now, looking at the rear of the engines, you see just a little bit different uh, profiles and uh, molds were used here for the designs, separate from, of course, the color schemes. But which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I think they both look awesome. Uh, 2024 uh, has the edge in my book. I gotta say, I'm really liking this view. <laughs> All right, well, I think it's about time we go ahead and put some power on the tracks and take this uh, Trump 2020 engine for a spin. All right, we have the bay window caboose finally made it up with the Trump 2020 engine. Of course, before we uh, power it up and start uh, rolling down the tracks, we have to ensure that we have some smoke fluid in the engine. Uh, you never, of course, want to run an engine without that smoke fluid. Otherwise, you're going to burn out that heating element. So you either got to turn it off with the controls or add some smoke. Lately, I've been using this smoke here, JT's Mega Steam Vanilla Flavor. So that way it's not too foul smelling and uh, my wife doesn't bother me. <laughs> uh, she seems to like the vanilla. But it smokes really well, been very happy with it.
picked up off of eBay. So we'll go ahead, get some smoke fluid in there. This comes with a vial, so it's very convenient. So you can uh, do the exact number of drops that you need. All right, 15. And then we'll take it from there. That thing spokes like a champ. I'm impressed. But I think we need to do a double header trunk train now. Let's get it matched up. All right, we got both trunk engines hooked up back to back, double header. That's two scoops of trunk train. So it's looking good. I hope I don't blow a circuit breaker, but let's find out. Let's give it some juice. See what happens here. Full whistle.
Try to have a little caboose malfunction here. All right, well, you know, this layout's just a little too small for uh, our Trump doubleheader here, that uh, 036 track, so uh, it doesn't quite like it when it's uh, rounding those corners. So we'll, uh, we'll take the uh, Trump 2024 uh, engine, put it on the side track, and uh, take our 2020 uh, around the track for uh, a few trips and uh, get it moving.
about the engine a little more in uh, detail here. Of course, we have the uh, ABS uh, body, uh, plastic on top. Uh, Die-cast trucks, pilots, and fuel tank. Uh, metal chassis. All the handrails featured on the engine are all metal. Uh, the horn is also metal here on top. A little add-on. Uh, set comes with two hand-painted figures. We have one in the uh, cab of the engine, which, uh, get the light right. It's a little better here. Which, of course, has a red height on, so it was President Trump. And the other figure is, of course, in the caboose. We have the uh, Trump Pence paint scheme, quite original. Proto couplers, we have the LED Rule 17 lighting, prototypical. Directional control, lighted cab interior with LEDs. The number boards are illuminated with LEDs, as are the uh, operating ditch lights, the charging lights, two flywheel motors. Of course, Proto Smoke Diesel Exhaust smokes like a champ. Uh, scale is near scale. It operates up to or uh, down to 031 curves, so pretty much any size layout. Dimensions: the locomotive is 17 inches in length by two and a half by three and three quarters. As for the caboose, let's take a closer peek at that. So just like the engine, we have a classic ABS body, but we have the uh, uh, stamped metal floors here, metal wheels and axles. All the ladders are metal as well. It is lit internally and does have uh, front and rear lights. And of course, we have the brake wheel, safety chains, just like with the engine. Dimension wise, uh, the caboose is also near scale. You can see here uh, the length, coupler to coupler, is approximately. Ten and a half inches. And here we also see in the bay window the second hand painted figure uh, from the set. you enjoyed this unboxing of the Trump 2020 engine by MTH, part of the Rail King line. If you've made it this far and you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. And again, if uh, you're able to uh, support us on uh, Patreon so we can get uh, some more uh, cool items to review and uh, take a look at uh, on the channel. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much. Have a good one. We'll check you out in the next video. Thanks.